This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Today's Friday, April 29, 2011. And today we're going to take a look at Lava Farm. This is NASDAQ Global Market Stock trading our ticker DDSS. I have looked at this chart in the past. Classic case of being in a pretty steep fall. Try to form a base, fall through it. Try to form a base, fall through it. Once again, trying to form a base. So I want to take a look at this overall chart. Take a look at these indicators. Of course, everything lives and dies by this holding this bottom support. It falls through it again. It's just a walk away from it kind of thing. Wait for it. See if it's going to maybe bounce. Possibly try and form another base. Right now we're seeing some things go on. MACD trending back towards zero. BPO also trying to make a higher low and trend back towards zero. Still quite a ways away, obviously, at negative 10. Two quick pinches, though. We're seeing the negative DI trending down a little bit. Positive DI starting to trend upward a little bit. ADX flattening out. Pretty nice reversal position. Certainly something worth keeping an eye on. Money flow index. Trying to make some turns. You can see the 7, 14, both turned up now. 21 kind of trending sideways. Still obviously very bearish. Several months now down below 50 for the most part. But once again, trying to make a move. Accumulation distribution. Trying to hold a base. and even looks like it's trying to make a slightly higher low. Reiterated by the shake and money flow, which is trying to trend back towards zero. Apparently there's a little bit of buying pressure coming into this. It's not very significant yet at this point. But it's certainly given hints that it's trying to make a move the right direction. CCI kind of goes right along with that. Many months in the lower half of the indicator, but now holding over top of negative 100. Again, we'll keep an eye out now for a stronger move, try and break through zero. Much like the full still, slightly higher low, still down in bear chart territory, but this is the true bottom play at this point, so it's not going to get much bullishness. It's a matter of throwing it on the watch list because of the support level holding and some minor hints that it's trying to turn a little bit bullish. So that's the basic premise of this chart. Tricks much like the MACD and PPO. Looks like it's trying to find a bottom, trend back upward a little bit. And of course, RSI is falling right to that same category. Down in oversold territory, just now trying to make a break up through 30, trying to work their way out of oversold areas. As I mentioned, this 39 cent bottom must hold. I'd even have a little bit closer of an eye on it at this point to try and hold that 41 level. See, that was the low for yesterday. It's actually closed up a penny. That's 2.46%. If it starts getting beaten down with selling, you see some bigger volume bars coming in. Of course, I'd become much more skeptical if this 39 is even going to hold. Might see something very similar. But for right now, it is holding that base. I keep an eye on it for any sort of positive momentum and increase in volume. I go right there to that 45 cent level. I'd want to see it break through that. Of course, that's going to challenge the 20 day moving average, which you can see it hasn't been over top of very briefly here back in February. But for the most part, over two months on the underneath side of the 20. Plus, that ties in with some price per share resistance. Any upward movement will flip that parabolic SAR back down to the bottom. So I think that's going to be a kind of key level. If it can break through there, it doesn't really meet much resistance again until up here around 50, 51 cents. So from where it closed at 42, you're talking almost 20% move. So there's a pretty good upside to it with a relatively close stop loss. Beyond that, it'll meet resistance around 56 cents. That's going to tie in with the 50-day. But I would look at that to be a little bit further down the road. Just trying to see if this is going to show any signs of life, hold the support level, trying to make a move in the north direction. So once again, DDSS is going to hit the watch list. Keep an eye out for the classic things. Look for volume to show some buying pressure, support level to hold, and try and take out that first resistance. As always, merely my interpretation of the Labafarm chart. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smart.